Hello, hi there, School PST. Hope that you are well. Um, my name is Bella, and this is uh, my channel. And most people know me as the Secret Psychic. This is your love horoscope for November 2018. Um, if you're watching me for the first time, I'm a psychic reader, so I interpret the information that I get from my spirit guides because that's how I work, um, and give you a general overview so that you can navigate this month as successfully or prepare for it as best as possible. So, my guides are saying when it comes to you. Um, they're basically saying here that something has been going on for a really, really, really long time that almost has reoccurring cycles that crops up in your mind or there is a situation that you have with somebody that's just been going on for a long time that needs to be resolved one way or the other and, and in the best possible way, basically. And my guides are saying here that they're putting some responsibility with you Oh, so it's like, like it's a problem that is not just one-sided so it's not like the thing that's been going on is because of the other person they're saying here you have a responsibility in it so it's a shared responsibility basically and they're saying here that for a while about it it's kind of tied you up in knots you've not really known what to do you might have had to deal with other things because the other thing that i definitely know in this reading there was a lot in this month about outside interference and how my guide's saying that's got to stop, that actually the only guidance necessarily that you should be taking is yours, your genuineness, your authenticity, and you taking a little bit more control, but also bearing in mind of taking also some responsibility. So it's like taking responsibility, but also listening to your own guidance also on a matter that has been going on for a while that needs to be resolved and can be resolved in this month. It's going to be pushed a little bit by the universe to be, to be resolved so that it's been shaken out of your energy, basically, one way or the other. It feels very deliberate because it feels very much for some reason we're getting to an end of a cycle in some, in some relationships so that a new cycle can begin. Now, that doesn't necessarily mean that's with a new person, but it can be. But it means that something that was broken or difficult or challenging or still bothering you, it is in this month it's resolved once and for all once and for all and that you need to untangle yourself <laughs> from any procrastination I think is the right word around this my guides are saying here do you want to be a frog <laughs> or do you want to be a prince or princess and I think the only way to interpret that is when you think of a frog they're cold-blooded <laughs> they're wet and slimy and they croak and they scurry around in the grass Oh gosh, which is not a very good thing, is it? And could also get eaten and tr trampled on by other bigger things. Whereas if you are a prince or a princess, you are in control, um, loved, hopefully. <laughs> um, depends on what kind of prince or princess you was. Um, you can take authority. You um, have wealth and success and happiness you know, in a stereotypical way in your life. And they're saying here, you need to choose now whether you're going to be the frog in the undergrowth or whether you're going to be this prince or princess, basically. Um, and <laughs> I'm trying to put this in the best way because my guides are using language that I don't necessarily want to use, um, where they are interpreting, because they're saying here, because of outside influences, you have been the frog because you've been letting other people sort of keep you down, keep you croaking without you using your own voice by becoming that prince or princess and being the authoritative. Not only do you get what you want in your love life, resolve an issue, but also you can silence some people that have been influencing you quite negatively. <sighs> now, they also want to say to some of the Scorpios, and I have to say it like this because Scorpios have a sting in their tail, that, the, the, that one of the ways that you might be tempted is to do it with that sting with force of some kind they don't want you to do that they want you to what's that saying you know um uh, the pen is mightier than the sword they want you to be to outwit or to solve this with your intellect and not with anything that is below standard again you see the kind of difference between the frog approach and the prince approach is is is, is a real theme with this they're saying here because I just get here like something has been revealed also too that you're you're not too comfortable with and my guides are saying here you need to get over that discomfort because 
you worrying about other people gossiping or talking about something is also enabling you to make a decision to take that responsibility in your share of how to fix this ongoing standing thing that will really resolve heal your heart heal somebody else's and make life better for yourself so much and you know it you do know it but it's just hard when you've got that influence there my guys are saying overall you don't know what to trust and the only and this is why they keep coming back is that you need to trust yourself but also to approach the situation in this kind of regal manner basically some if it, if it was very critical i have to say um because Without sounding over dramatic, it feels to me that you have this entire month to make something grow in, into something new that you want it to, or that you that you that it's gone. It gets resolved one way or the other. So this ongoing thing, maybe you've been waiting for something. Maybe they've been waiting for you. Um, whatever this is, a decision needs to come from half you. And, and the other person, but I feel like you're on the same page of this kind of thinking and decision making. That basically, you have to make a decision about about it without the influence of others in this regal manner to get the best outcome for you, so that you can have a new thing that grows. If you don't, you keep yourself tangled up keep listening to the paranoia or the gossip or the interference you lose so it, it's, it's a strong message and it's not to scare you it's to, to help you basically there's something that you know that you should have resolved but for whatever reason you've stopped yourself it is now or never it is now or never to do it so if you need to reach out heal something forgive something fix something, um, accept something from somebody else, because I'm saying this because it's 50% you, but it could be that somebody comes to you and you have to finally resolve this with the other person that's, that has a romantic connotation with you. This is the month to fix it one way or the other. And the best advice my guys are giving you is to do it with authenticity, to do it with love, to do it with intellect, not force, to not, to, 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 silence out the naysayers or the gossipers or the people that want to make you feel weird about this <laughs> tune them out or get them out because this side will be fixed or it'll be gone and the decision is yours so i would say whenever you see this really search your soul about what it is you what it is in terms of the outcome you want and if it is that you want something or someone and you want to fix it then darn well do it this month. Do not procrastinate. I don't want to be having a reading with you where you're next month feeling like you've lost everything. Like, please don't. <laughs> you know, life is for the living. Life is for taking risks. You know, you don't want to have that regret. I wish I had. I wish I had. This is the month to do it. All right. So sorry that this is a little bit deep, guys, but it is what it is. I have to give you what my guides give you because I never know what they're really going to say. But it feels really important and they want the best for you it's about growth and expansion they're saying this month is about new beginnings because the cycle is upon you to begin it's just are you beginning by fixing something with something that makes you happy or are you doing it starting the cycle in a low place i guess it doesn't really matter at the end of the day because even at a low place there's an only one way to go isn't there which is up but Try to do it not without regret, is what my guides are alluding to. Now, I really, really hope that it's been helpful for you guys today. I will be back next month, the last month of the year, <laughs> with some more information also too. I'll see you then. If you like this, do subscribe, do share, do comment. If you'd like to subscribe, do press the notification bell, because then you'll get it a flag up also in your notifications too. Take care, and I'll see you next month. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.